Oh, okay. Two wrenches. There are four screws there holding it on. He's taking it apart now to see what's hanging it up. That one's hard to reach back in that corner, isn't it? Yeah. I've got smaller fingers. I can give it a try. Unless you've almost got it. I've almost got it. Just affected. it. There you go. You want to watch? Oh, you ready? Uh huh. Oh, you got it on? Yeah, I've got it on. I can always edit out whatever is. You can put in, and of course, the idiots that put it together put the put the screws down so you can't. Can't pull the valve out without possibly damaging the. Well, we already know from working on some of this stuff that maybe not geniuses have done it. Seal came loose. It tore. Oh. Broke. Kind of figured that might be what it was. Okay. Well, if you're going to go and uh, get a new seal, I'll get in there and clean that up, that muck. Wire ties. A wire tie went down there. There's another piece there that looks like it's from the inside of the tank when they cut it. That's not a washer, that's a piece of plastic. I wonder if that slid down into the valve too. That's what it was. So the valve in the area is wiped down. Kind of makes me wonder what's going to happen in the sewage holding tank now that we found out how carefully they installed the valve in the wastewater holding tank. The seals are going back in. Yeah, you can continue if you don't know the art. I am. You don't need to continue it. 
put the nuts back together, snug everything up. You're just wasting. Tightening the screws down now. And we've just saved ourselves a hundred bucks. If you go inside, turn the hot water on and let some water run. Okay. And it's done. It pushes in and closes all the way. That's the culprit. When they installed it, they drilled a hole and just pushed the extra plastic right on into the tank. And after 10 years, it finally worked its way down into the valve and, and stuck. There we go, it's sealing, doing fine.